Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Let's see, oh god. So 41 degrees there, give or take a foot and a half. I think you guys see that. And this is 3.7. It is about 3.30, quarter to four. It is 12.16 Tuesday. So I'm kind of hopping around working on a bunch of different things today. Batteries aren't completely charged, so there we are. Not bad. Warmed up nicely, but no sunshine. So I uh, smashed the carburetor back into this thing. I took a few minutes to figure out why it's leaking gas. And it turns out on the bottom of the fuel pump plate, um, that's where it's leaking. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get a little gasket to put to do something with that. Um, and, you know, I always say every time I work on this carburetor, it gets a little better. And it does get a little better. <laughs> As you can see, it's at night. It's rock solid. Watch it spark. I screwed up the throttle somehow. i got to figure out what I did wrong here. When you step on the gas, like nothing happens. But um, That's with no choke. If I give it some choke, I don't have as much trouble with the wheel. That's basically where the governor fights me. So you can. Uh you can see I got the old carb back on. I was trying to get one of these air filters to fit it. This is 42 millimeters, which is about the same size. So I need something, I don't know, somewhere around 50 millimeters, give or take a little bit. I should put a string around it, um, get the string to the right length or a piece of wire around to get the wire to the right length and then, uh, and then measure it. Um, but I, I would like to get a proper air filter on this thing. I got my heat lamp on. It makes it a little easier to stand here. Out of, um, obviously, not bragging, just a statement of facts, I got uh, four garages to work in. That way is south. So I got these two. Um, problem with this one, though, the house in the winter dips kind of behind the house pretty early so it starts to cool off this really is out of the uh, four garages well, if you include this this really is the nicest spot to work right you got the sun even in the dead of winter blast right on you nothing blocks it during the spring or summer those would probably be the two best garages to work out of so I gotta make a hole here I gotta make I gotta get this this quarter opened up this is where I want to work on the golf cart and some other stuff so I gotta I gotta get my butt to it and stop talking about it so anyway um we got the the Cushman running I got to stop and buy uh, some of that gasket material. I guess I guess I got some form of gasket, you know, that brown crap. Um, I used to live uh, everything I, when I was a kid, everything I touched, I used to use that form of gasket on. The only problem is once you like 
put it on there if it dries properly it's like glue I mean that crap gets everywhere and it just sticks everything together such that you're kind of screwed um, since then I've kind of grown up and I like the stuff um, that forms a gasket but then kind of stays within itself it doesn't like glue everything to it you know they got it in various colors of death blue death red death um, I, I I kind of prefer that stuff um, a little more, though it's also gotten horrible expensive. The former gasket stuff when I was a kid, I bet you it was like a buck a can. Now, God knows what it costs. Probably a few, five bucks a can, seven bucks a can. But now a tiny little tube this big of the uh, stuff I like now costs the same amount, right? I could buy a can of that and have it for a year. Um with the uh with the other stuff god it seems like you buy it to make one or two gaskets on a job and you're done um just a moment um i got a predator engine sitting right there which i think i can slam on the golf cart if i wanted to i think i ran across a clutch yeah i think i got the clutch right here right and I think I got the chain right here so if I decided to go with um, with a simple centrifugal I'm ready to go right she's ready to to slam right on there if um, if I want to get a little more creative And you know, it's always depending how creative you want to be, how far do you want to go. Do you want to go crazy or not? One of these days, because I'm not very good about locking these, I'm going to come in, I'm going to find an empty shed, and I'm going to cry like a baby. Though most of the stuff you can steal right off the back. You don't even have to go in here. Um, this guy has a torque converter on it. Right. So there's that possibility. Nice to have a torque converter. I don't see the gear to drive anything now. how this moves I slipped out oh now the gears in there yeah the gears in there okay I'm like looking at it I expected the gear to be here and I'm like how do you drive so anyway there's that guy with the torque converter and then see that big old eight horsepower Briggs with the electric start here's another torque converter right so once again, how does create how creative does one want it to be? I can even theoretically this is a seventy, I think. I can slam a seventy on there or I mean if I want to kick start, only two speeds are left. If I want to put a real transmission, right, that's a three speed plus reverse. Um obviously two hundred S motors. I collect those, so I'm lousy with them. If I want something that weighs too much on it. <laughs> Looks like I got another one in the back there. Yeah, every once in a while I gotta come out here to do kind of like an inventory just to see what I own. <sighs> You're empty, right? Good, just in case I need a bin. I've um also on another topic. I've been thinking about, you know, I got more space across the top here. I've, I have been considering putting another shelf. And if I do that, that'd really give me some uh, extra space, um, right, to put things. Um, that would help a lot. All right, guys. Well, many videos today. Here's another 10 minutes. 
probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to space these out. Um, if I slam them all up at once, most of you guys don't have, if I put three videos up at 10, 15 minutes each, most of you guys don't have, you know, 30 minutes a day uh, or more to watch my video. So um, what I'm going to do, probably what I'll do is I'll, I'll put these up one at a time. So one will be Friday, no, wait, today's Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday... I'm working Wednesday night. I don't think I'm working Thursday. I'm not sure yet, but um, that means I'll probably do one on Thursday. So, and then we'll catch up Friday, Saturday, and uh, we'll be back to it. Okay, folks. I want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Even some of the more interesting comments, I do appreciate. I had one uh, young man whose uh, comment was just one word: junk. And it was um, specifically about the Yamaha three-wheelers. And I, I responded, um, junk. Yamaha three-wheelers, three-wheelers in general, everything I own, my entire hoard, what? And he never, he never got back to me. So I, I don't know. It was a young man. It could have been a young lady for all I know. But uh, the, the one word, junk. So, yeah, some of the comments that come in are... Uh, are, are interesting. Uh, generally speaking, at the moment, um, I don't have a, a hater. Um, every so, sometimes folks uh, get them who publish videos. Who uh, every video um, there's a uh, a nasty comment uh, included with it. Right now, right now, I don't I don't have any of those folks. But probably because I said something about it, I'll get one. Um, Anyhow, folks, I want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and uh, enjoy all your days. Even if you have a horde like I do that sometimes is more work than fun, enjoy your days. You don't know how many you're going to get. Take care, guys. Bye now.